Before we get into the battle, people, you need to make sure you've got enough energy to watch this. And what do I mean by that? Get yourself some G Fuel using code SALT for 30% off. My favorite flavors are dragon fruit and peach iced tea. There's a bunch of other flavors you want to try. You can get starter kits, you can get tubs, a whole bunch of different ranges there for your energy and caffeine needs or non-caffeine needs. Link in the description of the video, people. Come and check out G Fuel with code SALT. If you miss the salt, it's not my fault. What's up, you? For today's video, we're with Survivor Sweep Level 1. Welcome back, everyone. I had a couple of days off Christmas and the New Year, and I'm nice and refreshed and recharged to deliver you some awesome content for 2022. I really miss you all, and, you know, I hope you miss me too. So what a way to start this off. we got a Survivor Sweep Level 1 and a Pimrite Undercover. If you've never seen one of these videos before, what I do is I actually go online, pretend I don't know a lot about Pokemon, and do some battles. Sometimes I verse some people who are really cool, and we have some great fun. And sometimes I've had some very, very salty, overconfident players that uh, I do a little bit of trolling too. Now, we got our Shed Skin and Infiltrator as the main abilities here. This is going to be a continuation of the Panda Clan Saga against some more of the minions. Now, this has been going on for about three or four videos right now. So, I think it was like the Magic Up Sweep, the Unknown Sweep, and the Slaking Sweep. There is so much salt and golden content here. We may as well keep covering it right. So we've got an Ursa Ring Lady. I've got a Fortress. It didn't really matter what level Fortress was there because all I'm going to be doing here is just setting up a couple of layers of Toxic Spice. Now, I wanted to actually let Survivor do a fair bit of the work here, but I did need Toxic Spikes up there just in case anything got really hairy, right? Uh, speaking of hairy, there's Ursa Ring. So it's going to take me out with the facade right here. I've got one more Pokemon to swap in here, and it's going to be my Dusk Ops. Now, this is a bulky defense. Dusk Ops. I've got a mean look trick room uh, strategy here. What I wanted to do here was to trap the opponent with a mean look and then start spamming flash. They wouldn't be able to swap. I could set the trick room up, then go memento. This would enable me to get at least one swap on my survivor before bringing in. Obviously, it's a very, very frail Pokemon at level one, and any hit would nearly always take it out. The thing is, it didn't really go to plan here because I only got a couple of flashes up here, and Ursaring hit me really, really hard. So I didn't have the advantage of trick room. I was like, man, I don't know if this is going to work, but I can tell you what, it was very salty. <laughs> 